ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் இங்கிலீஷ் விகடன் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் ஜஸ்டின் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் இங்கிலீஷ் ஒர்க்கிங் இன் ஆர்எம் கே சிஇடி டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் ட்ரஸ்ட் ஸோ ட்ரஸ்ட் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் யூனிவர்சல் ஹியூமன் வேல்யூஸ் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் லேர்ன் அபவுட் what is trust will trust be there for only few persons or for all will trust be conditional or unconditional or is it possible to trust everyone in continuity let's discuss the meaning of trust first what is meant by the value trust so the value trust means to be assured we are sure that someone will make us happy or somebody will make me happy we have the very clear understanding the other person will make me happy and prosperous that's we call trust so there can be a mutual trust between two individuals husband and wife or two friends etc so the husband is very sure he is assured his wife wants to make him happy and prosperous in continuity so there are two individuals involved in the trust like you are the first individual and other individual in your family it may be your close friend also now how do you evaluate trust so how do we know whether we trust the person or not or the other person also trust us so there are two methods so we know that everyone wants to be happy everyone wants to make himself or herself happy so we know other persons or other people also want to make themselves happy the same way they also like to make us happy so the intention so i want to make myself happy is my intention the same way i also want others to make me happy is also their intention so intention is always there so this intention is according to the natural acceptance that i have the feeling that i want to be happy always the same way i want to make others also happy so there is natural acceptance but when it comes to the competency of making myself happy it's a question mark am i able to make myself happy always that's very important i may be happy for some time in some situation but the real thing is that i should be able to make myself happy always the same way uh, am i able to make others happy always it's also question mark so if i am unable to make myself happy always so how can i expect others to make me happy always so there is a big question is there so the universal human values we need to acquire this trust we need to make ourselves happy first so you make yourself happy and make others also happy and that is your intention okay the intention level we are all okay but when it comes to competency only we lack let's see a glass is broken so we say the other person broke a glass so the we don't owe the mistake so i doubt the intention he purposely broke the glass okay i have a feeling of opposition here so i get irritated and i get angry so i am okay the other is bad that's why he broke my glass 
so i doubt the intention of the other if i broke the glass i say the glass broke by accident i didn't break the glass it's broken by accident so the same mistake i never doubt my intention my intention is clear i didn't break the glass so i make mistake by accident i have a feeling i am special i never make mistake so this is a kind of a uh, thing that i have on my intention so i never make make mistake it's others only make mistake so i cannot trust others so it is a common mistake so i assume their lack of competency to be the lack of intention see i am also unable to make myself happy and others happy or if any things happen so i justify i am not uh, telling that i have done this but at the same time i expect from others to accept their mistake so that because i lack i doubt their intention so they have done purposely he has broken the glass purposely so i doubt the intention if i break the glass i say the glass is broken by mistake so the, this is major reason for problems in relationship so we need to reflect if uh, reflect on this situation okay that is trust on intention so when there is a trust on intention we respond we don't get irritated or get angry okay so trust on intention but if you doubt the intention so we react so do i react or respond that's the different if i respond still there is trust if i react there is no trust so how many person in your life of friends you have trust on intention is it unconditional or continuous that's very very important so he has made mistake so many times i trusted that person would come in time but uh, he hasn't come in times so i don't trust him this is uh, this is not the intention we don't know what was his intention so this is not unconditional also so if he comes in time if he fulfills my expectation i will trust that's not unconditional it's based on conditional and it's not continuous also so we need to try to improve his competency suppose he has the habit of coming late so what we have we have to do is try to encourage encourage him to come in time and don't get irritated so trust his intention that is our response he might have come late due to some reason but he wants to come in time that is his intention okay now the same thing uh, i am clear about his intention i know the mistake is due to lack of competency not of not lack of intention so i make effort to improve his competency so if i know he has done some mistake not because of his intention but lack of competency i should help him okay so that's very very important so i am clear about my intention i know the mistakes it, even i can make mistake so i can't say i don't trust myself so i have to improve i have to improve my competency to that level where i can trust myself the same way i can trust others adding trust is different from assuming trust like uh, i trust on intention is uh, trust on intention is founded on understanding not based on even so i understand him so i trust him but sometime we assume so the last five times i lent her money she returned it on time so i trust him i trust her so that is not based on understanding that is assumption so she has returned the money so she will return again so i trust her that is based on this uh, 
understanding trust doesn't change in time and place or according to the differentiation so he said he will reach at 11 but look it it is after 12 now he always comes late so how can i trust him to be on time so this is uh, based on the situation not it's on conditional not unconditional so if he doesn't come in time one or twice i don't trust him that is based on the situation so unconditional of course this competence may or may not be there in me or in the other so in understanding so i understand his intention is there my intention is also correct but the thing is the competency of doing well also so i try to help him this is understanding trust but assuming trust we are not looking at the natural acceptance intention we are only seeing the competence so he has not done he is not able to do that means i will not trust him so just uh, we'll uh, re- uh, recap whatever we learned in the in this video lecture so trust already we know to have a clarity that other person wants or make me happy and prosperous that's always and trust is the foundation of any relation and it is unconditional and it is a natural acceptance if i am aware of my natural acceptance i have trust on intention so intention is clear so i feel related to the other so i trust everyone when i make a program with the other it is based on right evaluation of mutual competence so the competency level may be different but still i accept and trust the person in case the other is like lacking in competency i make effort to assure the other i make effort to improve his competency that is very much needed so then there will be good relationship if i lack competency i become ready to take help from the other to improve my competency and should develop the mutual trust okay so that's all uh, about uh, trust if you have any doubt text me and thank you for uh, watching my video lecture see you in the next video bye bye